2018 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. Come on in, I'll give you a tour. All right, well, here we are. This is the galley, and it's got everything you need, except it didn't have a, uh, a wooden cutting board. It had a sink cover that was made of the same material as the countertop, but we like a nice little wooden cutting board. It gives a little warmth to the, to the RV. So our son made us this, so we have a, a nice little wooden cutting board, sink cover also, and then uh, it does drip a little bit. But here's our kitchen. We have a two burner stove, it's propane, and there's a microwave here. It's a convection microwave, and we use that. The great thing about the plateau is we have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries and a 2000 watt inverter. So we can run the microwave on battery. We don't have to plug in or anything. In fact, we're actually at a campground right now in uh, Mayport at the Naval Base. We're not even hooked up. We're, we're just sitting here. We're running off our own batteries. We could plug in, but, but we didn't. So uh, that's just how great this unit is. So here's our stove, our sink, our microwave. We have some cabinets here with some little slide out drawers. They're full of papers and stuff, silverware. And down below, we keep a Keurig coffee maker, which we can also use on battery, and a toaster, and a little wash basket there, just in the sink. These little suction cups, we bought these at Walmart, I mean at Home Depot. These are really great. They just stick on. They have a little hook. You push that button, and it's there. And it's great for hanging stuff on. So that's that. We also put up paper towel holder. Just use some double stick tape and stuck it on there. It's a great place to hold some paper towels. Got a couple of cabinets. We keep our, our uh, dishes in. Got a little rack here to kind of give us an extra shelf in there. And then over here we have just some cereals and plastic bags and stuff like that. Just a little bit more stuff. A uh, little box up here. I keep some of my electronics in. Some DVDs. It's also worth keep the, your chocolate in there too, so yeah, it's nice chocolate. and melty. Yeah, and this is the plugins for the TV and the uh, DVD player. And there's a breaker in here in case you lose power. You, that's a, a breaker you have to remember. It might have to be a reset. Wine guard. This is for the uh, digital antenna. This is for our inverter and the water heater, uh, the Truma Aquago, and our Blu-ray DVD player. I also added this right here. It's a little accurate. It, I just have it up here on Velcro, and it shows the. It says outdoor temperature, which is actually the temperature uh, in the cab here. I mean the indoor. This is the um, temperature inside the cabin, and I have the sensor inside the refrigerator. So right now it's 45 degrees in our refrigerator. Not so great. Not so great. But it's a propane. It's a three-way refrigerator, and it is what it is. Uh, here's our furnace down here for the hot air to come out and then over here is the smoke I mean the uh, carbon monoxide propane detector that thing's worked great it hadn't had many false alarms like we had in our uh, road track that thing was horrible It'd go off probably once or twice a day until we had it replaced if you put your deodorant your spray yeah. deodorant on in the vicinity of it it would yeah set an alarm propane. you couldn't even put on deodorant inside yeah uh, back here in the living room it's spike. <laughs> yeah, okay. Back in the living room, this is one of the best additions that we that we put in our RV is Spike. Spike, say hi. Spike. Oh well he's resting. He's been at the dog park, played with a couple Schnauzer friends and is worn out. He just wore out. Uh, one thing I did was I swapped out the television with it came with an LG, but it didn't have any extra USB ports on it or audio out. So I swapped it out with one that did, and that way I can hook up this cable right here is going to a a um, fire stick, a Prime, you know, uh, Amazon Prime Fire Stick, so I can uh, watch our um, Dish Network box at home through Dish Anywhere. Another one of those little shelves. I got this at Home Depot. We're putting in our our remotes and stuff. That comes in real handy. Was it easy to install that TV? 
this TV was a little bit more trouble than I thought it would be because the um, all these connect hangers for the audio they were covered up by this mount so I actually had to drill holes if you look down here you can see that's the original holes in the mount and I had to come down about a half an inch and drill new four new holes to mount the television to the mount it took me a little while to run but I got it run and uh, works great we can watch our uh, dish network uh, DVR at home so all our shows we record just as long as I have access to the internet which leads me to this right here I, I bought a um, Verizon jetpack and I discovered this is kind of a great place to use it when when I'm hooked up to the wireless I can just stick it up here it gets a better um, signal strength and when we're not using it I just throw it in the box right here my wife made these covers for the couch and for the ottomans they're just zip on zip off and it protects the the, the actual ultra leather inside and it gives us also a nice little personal touch so we got that here and she made the couch one it's just a real simple drop over the top with a pocket that holds it there and we stuck the pool noodle in the crack here to keep it in place so that pretty much about takes care of the living space except for when it's time to go to bed and at that point we just extend the bed which is a confusing spike because it's daylight and this is a really great thing about pleasure ways on this unit there's a little button down here you push this button right here and it frees up the shelf right here and you just slide it over and lock it in place And then you throw in the backrest and there's your bed bed is that quick but we like to something a little bit different so up front here is where we store all of our bed okay above the shelf here on the shelf we store all of our bedding I have some roll-up mats some pillows our blankets and these we bought these at Costco these are called Nova form roll out loungers and all you do is take them here and spike usually likes to get on it play when i roll it out and you roll it out like that i got the other one put over here it makes a very comfortable bed and if it's too busy you can always flip it over and have just a solid color but uh, these are really great. We bought these at Costco and um, they make sleeping really nice. When you're done, you just roll them back up. These little straps right here, you lay them out like so. I would say that both of them pretty much perfectly fit the area so there's no gaps it's almost a continuous yeah nice foam bed it's, it's yeah. huge it's comfortable yeah and they work great yeah. like I said, there's one seam in the middle and it goes almost all the way over to the end they're they're 39 inches wide so we store them all up here So that's where we store them. Another little thing that I did, this shelf right here, this, this front of this board, is about the thickness of a, a door in a house. So I found these hangers, they're wreath hangers, and they fit on there pretty much perfectly. I bought a little box fan, and I drilled some holes, I put some handles on it so I can hang it. And this works out pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, if we're, if we're not, um, we don't have air conditioning going because we're just dry camping. I can run this fan right here. I have it plugged in. And it blows the air. It's really nice. High, medium, or low. And you can see that when you turn it on, the amp's over here. The meter tells us right now, up here at the top, we're making 10.8 amps 
that's DC amps okay off of the solar panels and then down here how much I'm actually putting into the battery I'm actually storing uh, one to two amps of those right now because I have other stuff going if I turn on this fan on high now I have a negative four amps so I'm I'm using about four amps with that fan on high if I put it on low it's using about three amps so right now I'm negative two but the Sun's going down and I'm only making 10 amps I have five solar panels which I usually make between 15 and 20 amps uh, it's the 25 amp system but that would be under perfect uh, conditions so usually 15 to 20 amps and that's what I get so that right there this is a great little panel with the fan here we can dry camp it's wonderful the um, back of this panel here this has everything you need to pretty much know about the unit you can turn on and off lights your porch lights are right here your awning lights your bathroom lights can go on and off here's where you do the, uh, the fan this is increasing the speed on the ceiling fan the fabulous fan I can extend and retract my sofa here and the awning and then over here I have some screen settings where I can have a power saving where, where this will turn off at night if I want to what my default pages and different things here um, I can set the time on the screen here I can run diagnostics green lights are good it's a pretty neat little system but uh, oh in the bathroom gotta show you the bathroom this is a big selling point on this unit it has a full bath a dry bath and we just have a gallon a five gallon bucket we keep our trash in uh, put our shower stuff there some more little suction cups and I got a squeegee in there so, and yeah, yeah we use the shower space during the day we keep our toiletry items in a little red bucket we can keep our trash can in here and our dirty clothes basket and if we wish to shower we just simply move it out for that time period shower take wipe this, it down yeah got a squeegee there take a squeegee and squeegee out the shower and then we'll blow the shower out with our box fan so that it stays nice and dry clean and doesn't get moldy mm -hmm. We also found a little black trash can that fits right between the toilet. Nice little place to have narrow, a yeah. little narrow trash can there. And uh, another hanging basket on the little suction cups are good. Yeah. Uh -huh. One thing that we don't like is the, these shelves. They just don't really hold stuff real good. Stuff kind of falls off them. This is, at this point in the video, I guess I could tell you about the things that we don't like about the inside of the unit. One is those shelves right there. There. Yeah, that little corner one is pretty useless. What's going to stay on that little shelf? We keep some toilet paper and uh, wipes and so forth on the little shelves down there. And when you open up these cabinets, I put a spring bar in there because otherwise, see, like that would have fallen out when you open it. When you open this up, if you didn't have that there and the toilet seat was open, yeah. you'd open it up and it'd fall you right. You can see that toilet. we don't really utilize them very well yet. Yeah. I'm sure other people have utilized these better than us. Yeah, we just. Hadn't figured them out yet. Yeah. And then, uh, and the, uh, the light, it's got a uh, skylight in here. It puts a lot of light in this bathroom, especially if you're like at a Walmart in the middle of the night. <laughs> if you park underneath the street light, you have plenty of light in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So that's the things we don't like about the bathroom is just those shelves. We love the shower. We love the shower. And, uh, and I like the porcelain toilet. Mm -hmm. Really quick to put the bed back to oh, yeah. couch. Bed's back. Um, the other thing we don't really like too much is the refrigerator. It's a propane refrigerator, and I'd really would rather have a uh, 12 volt compressor refrigerator. I mean, that to me is a. We had that in our road track. We really love the compressor refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So that's the only negative thing I have about the inside is the refrigerator. And like I said, right now it's 44 degrees inside the refrigerator. Sometimes we throw food out because we're not sure if it's still good because the refrigerator it gets hot when you put yeah. new items in it you have to be real careful about how much you put in the refrigerator and where you put it yeah like for example today the temperature has ranged from 35 to 46 degrees 
actually that's that's also the 48 hour uh, two days uh, since I reset this it's been 19 degrees in the refrigerator and as high as 63 in the refrigerator so that was we were in Orlando we got to 63 and we tossed away all the food that was uh, perishable type food kept the drinks and all that so and that's my only my only negative thing about this RV is the refrigerator other than that, it's plenty of room. I love the, the cabinetry. It's white. Oh, the air conditioner is a little loud, but that's normal. It's, a, it's an RV air conditioner. Uh, some have those new 12-volt air conditioners that are really quiet. And um, But that's it. It's, it's a great unit. Uh, we've been in it for about a year now. And uh, we've really enjoyed it. The uh, traveling is nice. It handles good. I put Sumu Springs on it to kind of help it a little bit. And I added a, um, oh, we also got some floor mats we put down just to kind of protect the floor. We bought these at Walmart, uh, Home, Home Depot. Depot. And they're real thin, so, so the door will actually slide over, go right? over. Because there's not much clearance between the bathroom door and the floor, but this mat is so flat that it, that it yeah it fits under there. So that's good. And it keeps the floor clean, um, especially with Spike. Yeah. And Bill. Yeah. And uh, the lights, you know, we, they're all independent. We can dim them down and turn off lights as we go, which is pretty nice. It's a that's a nice Corian countertop. Uh, the road truck did not. It had some kind of a eco thing. paper product. That they had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is nice to have nice. a real Corian countertop. It's a pretty wild pattern. It's the Galaxy, which they don't offer any longer, but I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it looks good in here. And we also have um, the uh, drawers are soft clothes, which is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. For example, this is where we keep a lot of our... This That's is our pantry, our pantry, basically. But, you know, you just push the drawer and it, it mm -hmm. soft clothes, which is really nice. And they say closed. Yeah. All right, and there's the couch back up. So we're back to a living room. Uh, not a lot of trouble. Oh, and the little corner cabinets. That's where Spike keeps his, his treats. His bedtime biscuits. His bedtime biscuits. Yeah. Let's see. Spike, you want a biscuit? Hey, you want a biscuit? He's really wore out. I mean, he had fun day at the dog park. I mean, <laughs> he's tired. He's tired. He said it's not bedtime. That's a bedtime biscuit, people. He says, well. But, but I'll eat it. If you force me, I'll. I guess I'll eat it if you force me. Here's his friend that's, Bunny. That's friend Bunny. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, thanks for watching our video. We keep a little fire extinguisher oh, over yeah. there beside the bed. It's one of those little, we got that at Costco, yeah. two pack. Yeah, two pack for $20. Mm -hmm. We like shopping at Costco and Home Depot and Lowe's. Just okay. a lot of Like stuff. everybody else does. Everybody <laughs> else does. Yeah, it's a great place. Amazon.com. Oh, here's one thing I did right here, too. This window is a pop-out window for your emergency escape. And it, it kind of, it's real easy. If you bump it, you can pop that handle out. The window doesn't fall off, but you have to go outside to get that handle to be able to close the window. So I just put a little tape on there. If there's ever an emergency, that tape's not going to slow me down pushing that out. I mean, all I got to do is just push that. That tape will shave off and it'll, that thing will go out. So um, that's not an issue. Some people, that might scare them to death. But, um... I'm kind of big. Being out that window is something else anyway. That's what scares me. <laughs> um, I think I would, I think I'd probably chew a hole out the side before I go out that window. But, you know, hey, it just depends on how much of an issue it is to get out of a, an RV. I'd, I'd probably have no problem. But, uh, so that's it. And uh, there's our RV. Put a little window screen up here, block that light. Oh, that helps. Yeah, you can actually yeah. sleep in. Yeah. How about your um, outside light? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the outside light. Right now, for some weird reason, my step stopped working, so I'm using a, my uh -huh. automatic step. i got to take that back and have that looked at. But National Indoor RV will take good care of us. I spray painted the uh, top of my lens with some green transparent paint. And that way, because green lights for the military, and being retired military, I like just to show my support for the military. 
In fact, we're right now at a military camp. There's a, uh, looks like a Coast Guard boat out there going by right now. But we're at Mayport, just near Jacksonville. And uh, there's the Atlantic Ocean out there. Uh, and this is the St. John's River. Somebody at the dog park. Yeah. This bike needs to go back to the dog park. So we're sitting here and I just saw a dolphin swimming out there in the water. There's a, there's a dolphin right out there. Came up. Seagulls, pelicans. It's really nice. And the beach is just to the right about a quarter of a mile. Yeah. It's a great place to spend a few days or a few weeks. What? What? Oh, there was that dolphin again. Oh, I keep missing let's it. Let's see if I can find that dolphin. Going to the right. There we go. Well, if you made it this far and watching the video, thanks for watching. And uh, just if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and watch back. We'll be posting some more videos later on. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.